If you're currently thinking about getting a Jack Russell Terrier and you want to know what the first 12 weeks will be like once you adopt, then stick around because that is exactly what we're going to cover in this video. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Josh here with TerrierOwner.com. Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. We have Luna out here too, the little star of our show. And today, guys, we are going to cover what you may expect during the first three months or 12 weeks of adopting a new Jack Russell Terrier. The good, the bad, and the whatever part of it. And as always, real quick guys, before we dive into those details, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe down below. And guys, if you appreciate or like this kind of content, be sure to give us a thumbs up on this video. Those thumbs up to us help us out so immensely, get seen by other Terrier owners or individuals needing help with their Jack Russell Terriers. So again, be sure to smash that thumbs up button for us. Otherwise, let's dive into the video and cover what you need to know about the first 12 weeks of owning a Jack Russell Terrier. We're starting right now. What do you think I should tell them? What do you think everybody is expecting once they adopt you? It's not good. All right guys, so I've broken this video down into eight basically guarantees of what you can expect when you adopt a Jack Russell Terrier. Sure, every Jack Russell Terrier is going to be a little bit different. I think we all can agree on that. But for the most part, these eight things should hold pretty true. It would be tough to find a Jack Russell that doesn't fit the descriptions of some of these, and apparently I should have put ear scratches are beloved by these dogs on the list, but it's not. But let's go ahead and dive into the first thing you can expect after adopting one of these dogs. And that is what I would like to call staring at the ceiling. Kidding again. It is what I like to call sleepy time. These dogs sleep a lot whenever you first get them home. A lot of this has to do with they are just a new puppy and puppies sleep a lot in general. It's kind of like a newborn baby. You know, it's a new environment. They're overloaded. They're trying to get used to everything and get used to your routines and activities around the house and you know depending on the noise and the activity in the house they might not want to get super active and hyper right off the bat but this is something you can definitely expect during those first 12 weeks you get them home you're all excited to do everything with them the kids might be excited but for a big chunk of the day they're willing to just kind of curl up and sleep with you of course they can also have energy if you're creating that environment where they should have energy. I'm not saying that they won't run around and play, but if you want 12 weeks of calmness, right when you get home is when you should go after it because it is your highest chance of getting it. After they get out of that early puppyhood phase, they get a little more active and a little more hyper, but enjoy it while it lasts. They're a lot more lap doggy, cuddly, and sleepy when you first adopt them. All right guys, number two is you are gonna see these pearly whites in action a lot whenever these dogs are young during those first 12 weeks. Jack Russells, I would definitely say that you could classify as a chewer and you are definitely going to want to work with them during this phase. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, gnawing on your hand or nipping at you. It's not really meant to be in an aggressive manner. They're just chewy dogs like most puppies are. It's not really even a Jack Russell thing. It's a puppy thing. And having plenty of toys is definitely a good fix for this, but also making sure you're correcting that behavior as much and as often as possible by reinforcing what they're doing wrong and then replacing the behavior with a toy or something that they should be chewing. But don't think that you're gonna get through that first 12 weeks without them getting a hold of something that they shouldn't. We've had like the legs or the bases of chairs chewed on, trim, shoes, pillows, I mean, you name it, they will find a way to chew it. So keep an eye on them when they're young. Again, they're not trying to be this horrible dog that wants to ruin your life when they're a puppy, but chewing is one of the ways they explore the world around them when they're that little. So expect it and do what you can to protect your belongings, but also make sure that you're training them along the way. All right, guys, number three, and I don't know if this actually ever stops with a Jack Russell Terrier. I'm so used to a big dog that she has surprised me with how often she has to urinate. These dogs have like the smallest bladder. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You pee nonstop. But Jack Russell Terriers as puppies or even as they get older, this is a peeing machine. They need to go outside often, especially if they have unlimited access to water 
because they can drink like a big dog. This is a big dog trapped in a small dog's body, if that makes sense. A big dog mind in a small dog's body, something like that. But they drink water just like they're the size of my 90 pound yellow lab and let them out after that. Maybe every 20 minutes whenever they're active in drinking water, but the fluids pass through them pretty quickly. They need to pee. When I take her on walks, I mean, she pees several times on a walk. My other big dog, unless he's marking a fire hydrant, not really the same way. He takes like one big pee and he's done. She squats about every other house. So that is something you can definitely expect with these small dogs. So prepare for it, work on your potty training and get used to crate training right away in order to counter this. All right guys, number four, and this might be one that pertains more to me than every Jack Russell out there. I am not honestly really sure about this one. So this is one of those ones that leave a comment down below for us so we can kind of confirm if Luna here is just a little princess that has to have her way or if this is common. But number four is these dogs are picky eaters when they are puppies or when they're young. She literally picks and chooses the pieces of her dry food that she wants and discards the rest of them. She does not just wolf it down like another dog will. She has certain treats that she likes and certain treats that she doesn't like. Again, I don't know if she's just a little princess here or if this is a common Jack Russell behavior, but I wanted to throw it in there. I think it's kind of a funny quirk that she has. I don't know if you'll experience the exact same thing, but just in case it is a common trait, expect it. Okay guys, number five is a Jack Russell puppy during those first 12 weeks when you have them. They are a good walker at first then they become a bad walker. And I'm talking about physically taking them for a walk. When they are puppies, they are actually shockingly very good at going on a walk. It's because they're really attached to you or they're a little bit scared. So they kind of just trot along with their tiny little bodies and they go about the walk and they don't get too intrigued by everything around them. They're not really barking yet during those first weeks. And then they become the devil when they walk. They will start barking a lot at everything. They will want to chase every animal they see, a squirrel, rabbit, whatever, whatever animal they see, they're going to want to chase it. And they become a little bit of a polar. So in the very beginning, work with them to make sure they understand that they're doing a good job with their cadence and walking behind you and letting you go through the door first, those kinds of things. And I would recommend investing in a good no pole harness as they're getting closer to that 12 week mark where they're more of a go after things or bark at things kind of dog at that point. Still, to this day, she sees a squirrel, she is either stopping, pulling, or barking, one of the three. I never claimed she was perfect, she certainly isn't. She's an awesome dog, but she has some behaviors that are just in their blood and I'm okay with them. I don't see the need to make every aspect of her perfect, but it is something you can expect during those first weeks with the new Jack Russell. All right guys, number six is kind of a counter to the sleeping a lot phase. Number six, what you can expect is a dog that is still willing and eager to play at all times. Yes, what I meant by the first one where I talked about them sleeping a lot is true. They will, and they are fine with it and happy with that. But on the flip side of that, if you're willing to get down on the ground, play with some toys, run around and chase them, this is a very playful, energetic, and hyper dog. So you almost get the best of both worlds during those first 12 weeks. After those 12 weeks, you basically get the hyper side. They're not really the napper. You're not gonna catch them you know, at 20 weeks old wanting to really nap in your lap or just sit around while there's other commotion going around the house. So if you kind of enjoy those Sunday afternoons just watching a movie, hanging out with your dog, enjoy it during those first 12 weeks, but also realize that they are still that interactive and playful dog that will do whatever you want to do during that time frame. Number seven, guys, isn't necessarily pertaining to only Jack Russell Terriers. It's pertaining to basically all puppies. But during the first 12 weeks, kind of like I mentioned with the chewing, you can basically expect this dog to just be taking in the world in every possible fashion that they can. This is, in a nutshell, the socialization process for them. They are, you know, exploring things through chewing with their mouth. They are learning your backyard if it's fenced in. They're probably figuring out how they can get out of the fence during those 12 weeks. They're taking it all in, learning you, learning your routines, seeing what you're consistent with, seeing how you discipline, what kind of leeway you give them. They're learning it all. This is when their brain is like a sponge 
and they're taking in as much information as possible to either use in a positive way or to use against you. So keep that in mind when you're deciding how much obedience and training you're gonna provide because they're extremely smart and they're probably processing information whether you think they are or they aren't. Just wanna take a little nap now, huh? Maybe you do nap. I don't know. Do you nap a lot? Not really? Do you nap ever? Okay guys, another thing that you can expect with a Jack Russell Terrier, and this is another one of those behaviors that does extend past those first 12 weeks, if you don't train it out of them, is using these paws for destruction. And what I mean by that is digging. This is a digging dog. They were bred to hunt, hunt fox, hunt other animals by burrowing and digging. These guys can dig a hole or a tunnel much faster than you or I can, and much faster than you can probably even recognize that they're doing it. You will deal with a little bit of digging unless you just watch them nonstop when they're outside, but that's okay. Correct it, be willing to buy a little bit of topsoil throw into the yard, and move on. Digging has been much better with her as she has gotten older, but it was a problem when we first adopted her. I have a fenced in yard. She would make plenty of holes or find areas to almost try and escape through the fence, but now it is getting better, which is basically the moral of all of these behaviors with a Jack Russell. Outside of maybe the napping one we gave on the first example is they're quirky, they're high energy, they are super affectionate and awesome dogs, but they have behaviors that can be seen as almost a nuisance during the first weeks, but I promise you they get better, especially the more time you put into it, so don't stress about it. If you're thinking about getting one currently, I still highly recommend it. I don't think it would be a dog you regret adopting, I just think that you should be adequately prepared to deal with some of those pain in the butt behaviors. And again, that's not only Jack Russell's guys, that's all dogs. These guys are just a little smarter, a little quicker, and know how to get under your skin a little bit more than other dogs I have owned or raised in the past. And I'm super curious, guys, what you would put if you had to pick a certain behavior or attribute of your Jack Russell during those first 12 weeks. What would you tell everybody watching that they do? Be sure to leave those in the comments below. We're always interested to see how other Jack Russells behave or what common behaviors all Jack Russells have in common. So again, comment that down below. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure that if you're not subscribed to the channel to go ahead and subscribe now down below. And again, guys, those thumbs up are probably the most beneficial thing that you can do for us on this channel to get seen by other Terrier owners. So give us a thumbs up on the video. Again, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are notified on Tuesdays and Sundays when these videos come out. And never forget to head over to terrierowner.com. That also helps us immensely get seen by other terrier owners on google instead of youtube just when you go to your web address bar and type in terrierowner.com t-e-r-r-i-e-r-o-w-n-e-r.com over 200 blog posts at this point answering tons of frequently asked questions about this dog specifically and other terriers so please be sure to check that out otherwise guys we will see you on sunday for the next video and just as a heads up starting the week after this week so not this coming sunday there will still be a video on sunday but starting the next week we are going to be going to one video a week we want to make them more in depth for you guys a little bit more of her doing cooler things and to do that we need a little more time we are still going to have content every week new content on terrier owner but we'll go down to one kick butt video for you guys in the future after this week Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you in the next video. Luna says bye.